Hey there, I'm Trinity Chavez, and you're watching a special edition of Taking Stock in collaboration with SiliconANGLE's The Cube. We're offering exclusive insights from some of the most influential leaders in the AI industry, all a part of the NYSE Wire community. And to start things off, we're joined by the CEO of Vapor.io, the pioneers leading the charge in edge computing. We are a digital infrastructure company focused largely on uh, artificial intelligence and massively distributed networking capabilities. And you know, your company is described as one of the world's first true edge computing companies. Explain what that means to Vapor.io. A little complicated, but the internet as we've built it is um, architected in such a way that AWS, Microsoft, Google, the, the big companies that we know of when we talk about cloud, they're, they're largely centralized. We wanted to build the internet kind of the from the opposite end. So starting from the edge out as opposed to these centralized cloud companies building central out towards users. Um, we're more focused on the applications and the industries and the footprint that needs lower latency, um, closer data proximity, et cetera, which is a, it's a different take on cloud. How has the rise of 5G increased the demand for lower latency applications? 5G itself is a technology that increasingly relies on lower latency capabilities, especially with um, how we are slightly differentiated with that AI angle that we just discussed. Um, additionally, the key economic unlocks for the applications that can be powered over, say, a, a low latency 5G network are only now technically available to the masses and the enterprises that would consume these, these um, uh, reference architectures that necessitate the use cases that, that, that need that latency profile. And edge computing is a relatively new concept. So tell me how it's being integrated in various sectors. Edge itself is not new. We've actually been doing edge for quite some time, but the concept of edge computing in a distributed kind of AI enabled fabric that is new, and it, again, it is highly differentiated in that the contextualization for all of the things that you normally do in artificial intelligence, like training and tuning and inferencing, um, that fabric needs to exist, and Vapor is the company that, that solved this at the, at the edge first. Now, as edge computing becomes more widespread, what challenges, if any, do you anticipate, and how do you expect Vapor.io to position itself to be able to address these challenges with a changing infrastructure? There's both technical, um, economic challenges that go into operating a footprint like this at scale. A typical cloud provider might be deployed in, say, 12 locations around the US. We're deploying in 110 locations across the US. So you can imagine the logistics and the supply chain and the operational efficiencies that need to be built into operating a network at that scale. Uh, our, our goal is to just you know, keep up with the automation um, and the, uh, the, the real estate side of um, the implementation of a footprint like this. Do you have any key priorities over the next 12 to 18 months? Our, our goal is to really become a major player for these AI applications that require real-time inferencing. Um, so instead of training, uh, which is you know, a hot topic at the New York Stock Exchange um, these days, uh, which is very important, we focus more on the real-time monetization of those models, and we want to be a dominant player in that space. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining me on Taking Stock. Thanks so much.